welcome to today's video. So this time I'll be going through approximately just over 300 vintage paperbacks and books that I've got for sale. Now I'm going to do these really, really cheap and I've broken them down into little price points. So five pound, very small bar pile of books at a fiver, a selection of books at three pound, then the majority of books at £2.50 and then at the end I've got a nice wedge of books that are literally just a pound a pop um, and I'll put links to all of this in the description down below so you can just uh, jump forward to each bit of the uh, of the video that you might want to see um, and once something's been sold and by sold I mean not just reserved via an email I mean it's been bought and paid for I will then list it in a tagged pinned post at the very top of the comments to show all the books that have now sold from this particular video so you know if something that you were fancying has already gone or not but do please contact me um, my email is julesbert at gmail.com i'll put everything up on the screen drop me an email with a list of the books that you like um, if you buy 10 or more books i will be giving 10 percent discount simple as that so buy 10 books at £2.50, get an 11th one for free, or just pay £22.50. Postage will be at cost. Most parcels in the UK are coming in at about, I think, £3.35, but I'm happy to ship anywhere in the world, and I have also in the past sent right around the world. So where you live is not a problem, but just if you are overseas, be prepared for you know, a higher than usual postage cost, because the cost of posting overseas has gone up quite a bit. But you know, it will be at cost. So there you go. So without further ado, here is some, hopefully, some nice bargain paperbacks that you might fancy. And these are the, the small handful of books, which are a fiver a piece. Um, and this is based on rarity and condition as well. So this is a uh, pan number 24, and the majority will be pan books today. This one's in um, a scarce dust wrapper. As you can see, the book underneath is lovely. Very, very scarce in, in dust wrappers, these. All books that you see today are going to be first editions, unless noted otherwise. There's a couple of reprints, but on the whole, they're firsts. A little bit of foxing, but quite a rare one, that. We've got this one, which is Head of a Traveller. Nice crime book. Nice condition, this one as well. As I said, these are all, all firsts, unless otherwise dated. 1955, that one. This one here, the Book of Strange Stories. This was the template for the original Pan Book of Horror Stories, chosen by Herbert Van Thal, the famous editor. A little bit of spine yellowing, but apart from that, he's all right. Another scarce one, similar vein, the second ghost book. A little bit of water rippling, but very, very scarce. These are going for 10 to 15 pound a pop. Um, so five pound, a little bit of wear on the spine, but still a nice copy, better than his average. And then an unmarked third handbook of crosswords these are scarce particularly without any attempted and this is also a, uh, a first edition from 1960 don't see those that often a couple of non-paperbacks <clears throat> whose body dorothy sayers this is a nice early edition of that one um, i forget exactly when it was printed it's from the literary press these tend to go um, for 10 to 15, so just a five of that one. And then one more part of the uh, Century of series published by Hutchinson. I absolutely love these. This is the Cavalcade of History. It's a big, thick old book, this one, but they don't turn out that often anymore. Uh, these date from 1933, 1934. Great little book. So all of those are a five or a pop. So these following books, there's quite a few of them, a good 20 or so. These are all three pounds each and a few bargains here, as always. Rortledge's World Library, Goldsmith's Plays and Poems. I think this is really early. This is like 18 something, 1890, something like that. It's a nice little one. Uh, little kid's book here, Uncle Dan's Book About Trees. Nice little children's book. Another early, early hardback, a buffin book, Shut Eye Weathercock. These all go for like, you know, about ten or a pop. This one's very scarce, it's the King of the Golden River. It's a, like a classic. This is a particularly nice edition of it. It's again late 1800s, I believe, something like that. Very, very scarce in a wrapper as well. £3 if you want it. 
<laughs> Brilliant first little foot. Now we're on to some pan paperbacks. This is pan number one, 10 stories. The very, very first pan numbered series, pan number one. And so these are all first unless otherwise noted. Number 19, Alive Alive O. These are just early ones in particularly nice condition. A E W Mason, no other tiger. It's number nine, 39, that one. 48, Mr. Perrin and Mr. Trial. Another one in exceptional condition. That was number 48. 49, another lovely condition one, three plays. Goldsworthy. O. Henry, Cabbages and King. 72, particularly scarce period of pan that. Uh, 232, sorry, 132, the corn is green, Eminem Williams. 137, big thick one this, um, in nice condition for its size and age. Song of Bernadette, 137. Wisdom of Father Brown. Number 239, a little crime one there. Not bad shape, but. Crocker Gold, 262. So again, these are really nice, sort of unread copies or read once. Peter Cheney, 272. You can't hit a woman, I believe. This one is a reprint. Yes, this is the second printing from 54. Still easily worth uh, three pounds in that condition. Dark Bahama, 277. Peter Cheney again. Little page ed fox in, but a first from 54. It's a page ed spot in there, but still quite a scarce one. 277. 300. Richard Cavern, another scarce crime one here. Glossy cover. Pretty scarce this. Got a spine crease, but even so, apart from that, it's a really nice copy of a, of a scarce crime title, that. 1954. And the last three pounder is uh, Agatha Christie, once again, first edition. Mysterious Affair at Styles, got a faded spine though. But this is one that tends to go for 10 to 15 pounds in first edition, which this one is. And apart from that, it's a really, really nice copy. 1954, just got that faded spine. Apart from that, it is a beauty. So that's the first little pile of three pounders. On to the next ones here. So we've got 432, Peter Cheney. Dark Interlude, another scarcer crime title from Cheney. Andrew Garve, Make Stem Plot, 439. Now we're on to the Great Pans. Here's Great Pan number one, Alice in Wonderland, scarce title. Um, this one has got a name and a bit of tipex on the inside, but apart from that, it's a really, really nice copy of a scarce book, and it's the very, very first Great Pan volume, a double volume. This is very nice condition, number 23, The Dam Busters. It's a first print of, I believe, Pan's first million seller was The Dam Busters. Absolutely minter that, unread. Nice copy of that one. G178, Morris West. Another very nice copy, Children of the Sun. Beautiful, nice, unread copy. 353, crime title, Yellow Snake, Edgar Wallace. Nice copy of that one, crime title. First from 1960. 386, Ellery Queen, Calamity Town, PEF cover. Really, really nice, classic sort of PEF. First from 1960. Nice copy of this, Lifesaver is a pan original. First X title. Eastern Approaches, X number one. Tough book to find now in nice condition. Ideal if you're buying quite a few books in one hit because this is so heavy. If you bought this individually online, it will cost you three, three fifty just for the postage. So if you're buying in bulk from me, that's a good way of getting some of these. Another scarce early uh, X title, X23, Captain Jan. Nice condition for that one, Jan Hartog. X25, Valley of the Vines, Joy Packer. Very, very nice copy of that one. Very little wear, another PEF jacket. 
X99, Captain Blood, the first Captain Blood book, Raphael Sabatini. Um, I've seen this one go for good, good money. Um, this is the first printing from 1961. Easily worth £3, probably worth a fiver, to be honest. Um, a couple of non-pound ones going abroad. This is a Collins White Circle. Um, Rose McCauley, nice copy of this one. Dates from the 1940s. It's uh, number 501, which is the first one in this series. July 1939, that's scarce. And an old albatross, uh, Aldous Huxley's Gioconda Smile, number two. This is a reprint, but it's in a wrapper. Very, very nice condition copy albatross indeed. Got a X library plate inside, but very, very nice. Once again, easily worth uh, three pounds. So that's all the books at three pounds a pop. Okay then, so the following books are all two pounds 50 each. Um, don't forget, 10% off any order of 10 or more books, which I think is a pretty generous offer. And this is a uh, pan number two, Lost Horizon, James Hilton. All first, unless otherwise stated, number three, The Small Back Room. Number five, Haven's End, John Marquand. Nice copies of these. Number 10, Fire Over England. Grand Hotel, number 24, Vicky Ball. 29, The Matriarch. Great if you're collecting early pound books, lots here. Number 41, Pilgrim Cottage, Cecil Roberts. 32, slightly out of order, Hot Countries, Alec Wall. Audio Kipling, number 50, Mowgli. Mowgli Stories, nice copy of that one. Six Mrs. Greens, Lorna Reeve, number 58. Fifty-nine, Helen Simpson, Saraban for Dead Lovers. Eighty-four, Under Capricorn. Humorous Tales, Kipling again, number eighty-five. Ninety-one, Pomfret Towers, Angela Thurkel. One, two, four, The Arches of the Years, Halliday Sutherland. This one's a reprint, one, six, five, Moondrop to Gasconi, I think it's the second. Yeah, reprint from 1955, the first was from 1951. So a reprint copy of that one. Still really nice. Different jacket to the original. Uh, 166 full flavour. This one's scarce. In sort of any condition virtually, to be honest. Let's move them over there. Seven short plays. Number 190. First gel on a book. Maza de la Roche. 196. Uh, white Oat. A white oak novel. Father Malachi's Miracle, Bruce Marshall, number 207. Western, Secret of Secret Valley, Jackson Gregory, 216. Uh, there's not many pound westerns and they're all fairly scarce. That one's got a little bit of cover tear, but it's, it's fairly rare, that one. Better English, 228. Nice copy of that. Results of an accident, Vicky Bourne, 235. Viscount Samuel, Belief in Action, 261. Movie time, Kid for Two Farthings, Make Me an Offer, Diana Doors, Sid James, 394. The photos from the film. Reasonably scarce set now, well worth 250. 
Last Enemy, Richard Hillary, 397. 405, White Oak Brothers, Mazda de la Roche. Beautiful K cover there, really, really nice. Nice copy of that one. 411, George Sava, beautiful copy of this one. They come by appointment. Very, very nice indeed. Now we're on to the great pans, Escape With Me. Osbert Sitwell, GP8. No 250 these, of course. Scarce, Last Days of Hitler, GP number 12. Quite a scarce one to find this one in first edition, which this one is. 1952. Much more common is the reprint of that one. 12 Olympians, GP17. Little pen down there, but apart from that, nice tight copy. Loyalties, Goldsworthy, GP19. Deep Blue Sea, GP34, Terence Rattigan, Bulls of Minos, and Cottrell, GP36, the first of several by him. Nice copy of that. GP45, Dangerous Skies, great, great jacket on that one, really uh, fantastic. 1956, that one. Very nice indeed, let's put them over there. Another one cultural, Los Faros, GP54. Cockle Shell Heroes, GP59. If the war ones are in here, they generally did sell very well, but I've included them because they were nice condition copies, sort of the lower grade war ones I've not bothered putting in, or they'll be in the pound pile. But nice ones like that. Uh, GP84, Boy and a Dolphin, another film tie-in. I believe that's Sophia Loren. Beautiful jacket, that. Some more a wheeler. All right, Adventures in Archaeology. GP94, still digging. This is scarce, but it's a lower grade copy of what is um, a 10 to 12 pound book, Ross MacDonald. G104, Experience with Evil, very, very scarce title, this one, uh, by a collectible crime author. It's a first from 1958. The New Ghana, G110, Birth of a Nation, Pan Original. Pretty nice copy of that one. The Last Cannibals, Jens Bruges. This is funny, look, she's a charmer, but she's a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. That was G131. Early David Attenborough, G168. Great cover by Taylor. Zuquest to Ghana. Yana. Lovely. Courting of Susie Brown, Erskine Caldwell. This is G190. Thin little book, but a very, very nice copy. Admittedly, not the most collectible author, 1958, but I think they're really quite fun, though, so uh, quite nice from that. Do It Yourself, J&R Christopher, G207. G230, another war one. Eric Williams, Complete and Free. Great stuff, another classic. Episode in Palmetto, Erskine Caldwell again, G322. A Lamp for Nightfall, another Caldwell, G350. These represent, I think, great value for money at 250 a pop, these classic great pans. Sure Hand of God, Erskine Caldwell. I did actually pick up a little run of these, which is why I got a few doubles. G392. Seven Years of Solitary, Edith Bone, G400, great jacket. 
Goldfinger. This is a reprint, G455. This is the third printing from 1961. Still got the original jacket, but you know, 250. That's not bad, is it? Let's pull the last pile down of these, 250ers. Home Aquarium, Pamper the Home Aquarium. This is G500. It's the 500th G title. Nice pan original, that one. Lonely Rob, Neville Sh Great one, this. G554. Good stuff. This is a T, T41. Complete Patience book. Basil Dalton. Nice copy of that one. First from 1967. That part over there. Another scarce subject, exploring the occult. This is a Pan Piper. Good cult subject. This XP50. First printing from 1964. Easily worth 250, probably a bit more. This is an M. So these are the Pan Majors, big thick ones. British Architects and Craftsmen. This is M number eight. Nice copy of that. M47, Tony Bungie, H.D. Wells. Another pretty nice one. X8, Ways of the Transgressor. This is difficult to find in nice condition. Big, big, thick brick. Brick of a book. Really nice first edition copy of that. Published, um, abridged by the author, 1957 by Pan. It's a beauty. Easily worth 250. Raintree Ca uh, County. Elizabeth Taylor film. And Montgomery Clift. X number 17. Another one well worth £2.50. If that was to go online, it would go for good money. Four legs, old four legs, X 26. Unusual title. Reasonably scarce, I think. That one. X91, The Vengeance Trail, Amelia Bean. Caroline Sherry, X104. X114, Devil in Bucks County. X122, Seek the Fair Land. How I made two million dollars on the stock market. X229, Pan Original, nice condition copy. Senior Saint, X459, small little nick at the bottom of the spine there. Apart from that, it's a first, £2.50, not bad at all. Perry Mason, Case of the Footloose Doll, X531. First from 1966. Andrew Garve, House of Soldiers, X623. Nineteen sixty-seven. Got a door book here. Door number six. Daystar. Mark Geston. This is a first from nineteen seventy-two. There we are. Nice tight unread copy that one of that one. And then uh, the last one is another albatross. It's uh, Journey's End. It's a later one. Four nine three one. So it's post-war. Journey's End. Nice copy. No dust wrapper. But, uh, Two pounds fifty with a. Uh, the 1945 name inside. So that's all the books at £2.50 a pop. Okay then, so all these books are £2 a pop, and I've got quite a lot that fit into this bracket, the £2 and the £1. As I said, I need to clear these, so uh, they're priced cheap in the hope that people are encouraged to you know, buy a nice wedge at a time. So £2 a pop going forward then. We're starting on the number only. Number three, small back room. This is pound number three. 
think this is number five, Trilby, George de Maurier. Early titles, just slightly, perhaps not in the mintest of condition, but still scarce books. Number seven, J.B. Priestley's Three Time Plays. This is number 11, The Lodger. Belloc Laundry, bit of a worn spine, but scarce. Burmese Silver, number 30, Edward Thompson. Forty-four, Yeoman's Hospital, Helen Ashton. Forty-seven, James Hilton, Random Harvest. I only think that a lot of these are seventy years old. They're not bad value for money, I don't think. Mogley Stories, it's number fifty. I said everything a first edition, unless otherwise noted. Poor Caroline, number fifty-seven. Seventy Marjorie Sharp, Clunny Brown, seventy six at the Villa Rose, A. E. W. Mason, ninety one Pomfret Towers, Angela Thurkill. 98, White Oak Heritage, Mazda de la Roche, got Faded Spine, 102, Hour of the Angel, Joanna Cannon, 110, yeah, Tales of Mystery, Edgar Allan Poe, Scarce. Not a great copy, faded spine, but two pound is easily worth it. It's a good, good book, that. The director, a strong one, one five, I believe, or one one six. Uh, faded spine again on that one. But apart from that, really nice, nice copy. Mask of Dimitros, Eric Hambler, another one with a faded spine. Scarce title, easily worth two pound, that. Green Hell, classic, number 120. Junior Dugard, scarce in first edition. And over there. One forty-four sailing alone around the world. One five four Francis Parkinson Keys Safe Bridge. King Solomon's Mines H Rider Haggard number one sixty three. Nice spine on that one. Nice nice copy of that really. Mazar de la Roche Mary Wakefield one eight six. One Serena Blandish Enid Bagnold Dirty Eddie. What's this number one ninety seven? Ludwig Bellemans two oh two Rightness is all Eric Linklater. Two oh nine, the man who found himself, Naomi Jacob. Clues for Christabel, Mary Fit, two ten. Pretty nice copy of that one. Mine own executioner, Nigel Balkin. Two one four. Pretty nice. Emperor's Candlesticks, 222. Two, two. Peter Abelard, 225, Helen Model.
Constant Nymph 229. This is tough to find in nice condition. That one's not bad, but it's a, it's a harder to find title. House in Lordship Lane, AEW Mason 231. Another early ish crime title. Trimmed Lamp 245. Another one by O. Henry. Quite a thin little number, that one. Classic Time Machine 251. Beautiful copy. First pan from 1953. A little bit of name on the top, but really lovely edition that one of the Time Machine. Operation Heartbreak 265. It's a wartime one, but it's in better than average condition there. Steinbeck. Pearl and Burning Bright, 279. Coming on to a real sort of classic period for pan books now. Shrimp and the Anemone, 304. Unbroken, Alistair Mars. Another wartime book. Slide them over there next to the other ones. Man about the house, Francis Brett Young. 342. Crime, hole in the ground, and regard. Not the greatest of condition, but it's a rare crime title, so it's worth a couple of pounds easily. Wartime Happy Odyssey. Number 347. Hammond Innes, Hammond's Rock, Madden's Rock rather, 354. I'll just slide those up there and start a new pile over there. Good speaking, 360. Nice. Nice clean copy of that one. Natural Courses, Henry Cecil, 368. I Spy for Stalin, 374. Building of Jala, 375. Curse of the Bronze Lamp, Carter Dix, another scarcer one, lower grade, it's at 3 dollars but um, worth £2. 404, Sea Wife and Biscuit, Jam Scott. Four o six, The Odd Flamingo, Nina Baldwin, another crime title. Defenders Triumph, 415. Reasonably nice copy of that. Life in Our Hands, Pamela Bright. Nice copy of that one. Now we're on to the uh, G's again. Another copy of Alice in Wonderland. Not as good as the last one, G number one. But still, for two pound, it's an absolute steal. Fountain. This is G number two. Great pan number two. Slightly lower grade, but scarce again. Really, really don't see these very often. G number three. Fanny by Gaslight. The original of that one. Once again, scarce. G number four, go to Modern Thought. Real minter that one. Not top title or anything, not prime, but it's uh, worth a couple of pounds. Virginia Woolf, G number five, the years. Big, big, thick books, which uh, if you're buying in bulk, 
through this video, you can do well by buying books that are big and thick. Because we bolt the postage all together, you know, we'll combine it. Uh, GP6. So I'm all about good value for book collectors, being one myself. GP9, The Young Melbourne. Used a copy of that one, so we'll slide them over there. GP10, The Letter. Somerset Wall. Three Restoration Comics, got the corner cut. Apart from that, it's a nice one, GP15. Wartime, White Rabbit, GP26, common title, but um, and in fact this is a reprint, so common one, but really nice condition there. Enemy Coast Ahead, another one, GP28, let's check the printing on this. Yeah, so that is the first of what is quite a common title, but it's a nice, a nice edition of that one. Same book. Also a first printing, very, very similar conditions. If you order that one, for example, I'll just choose the best one, in my opinion, that I have left at the time. GP30, two eggs on my plate. Let's escape one here. GP30. Wingless Victory, GP38. Women in Antiquity, GP39. Nice copy of that. Children of the Jungle, GP40. GP48, Danger My Ally. Slightly warm, but still pretty scarce that. Commando Extraordinaire, GP52. Four thousand years under the sea, GP63. Flip dual. GP69, Justice at Work. GP70, Cure for Serpents. And GP77, Golden Horseshoe. GP89, Life Under the Pharaohs. Nice one, that. Into a bit of Egyptology. That part over there. Secrets of Suez, GP91. Burned My Fingers, GP97. Emotional Conflict. This is about G100 or there or thereabouts. Great cover, but a worn spine. Carve her name with pride. There's G105. This is G142. Escape of the Amethyst. God's Little Acre, Caldwell, G148. Variable Winds at Jana, PEF cover, G154. Tobacco Road, Caldwell again, G158. G 
Journeyman, Coldwell again, 208. Let's copy that one. Small name on the front cover. Way of the Surgeon, G231. Very nice. Modern American Humor, G236. Danger Within, 244. Michael Gilbert, another movie tie in. Blackwater, Treaty, 285. Lost Cities, Leonard Cottrell, 304. G304. G310. Fortune is my enemy. The Flower Drum Song. G334. Lucy Crown, G337. The water ripple on the back, but apart from that, it's a nice copy of that one. Erskine Caldwell, Southways, 344. Three fifty five, Captain Bestic kicking canvas. Nice copy of that one. Photo insert of some sort in there. A Gawalis, the Forger. Very interesting read that one. G415. The VIP, G436. Elliston and Trevor. Okay. Just pause in there. I've got another load of uh, two pound books to come. Okay, cracking on with the two pound books. So we got the eighth Mrs. Bluebeard, Hillary Wall, four fifty nine. Case of the moth eaten mink, nice one here, pef cover. Earl Stanley Gardener, four sixty four. Endless colonnade, four six six. Another pef cover. St. Errant, Charteris, G522, that's a reprint, 1964, so bear that in mind, still worth a couple of pounds there. Commander Burt of Scotland Yard, this is G529. Rantus Rex G540 G543 when the kissing had to stop stop your kissing G557 man running Elliot West 564 Resting Cola, certain women five seven two an innocent abroad. Five seven eight the general. Alan Silito. Five eight six David Lodge, the picture goers. T 
531. Bestsellers of literature, literature. Thomas Love Peacock. T31. Acts 46. We the accused. Big thick one. Alexander Cordell, Race of the Tiger, M103. Put them over there. M207, Far from the Madding Crowd. First edition of that one. Georgia Hair M237 Bath Tangle Early X X3 Sorel and Son These scarce ones are early These sorry these early ones are scarce in nice condition X10 Popsky's Private Army X43, Finch's Fortune. Another one I think is quite scarce, you know, that one, X43. X69, Pan Book of Card Games. Pretty nice copy of that one. X70, Friday's Child. Narvik X121 X691 Sisters Under Their Skins Let's copy that one and X745 Stansted Affair It's got a faded spine Apart from that it's a nice one Moving away from Pam, we've got a slightly more modern penguin, Brat Ferrer. This is a 90s copy of this one. 87, nice condition. We've got a couple of um, searchlight books here, a handful of those. These are scarce, they're in wrappers, easily worth a couple of pounds a pop. Searchlight number five here, end of the old school tie. Early SF, Beyond the Isthmus, Olaf Stapledon. I'll give you the number of these just in case we didn't get it. A searchlight number 16, searchlight number 18, Stephen Spender, Life and the Poet. So pretty scarce these, easily worth two pounds each. Number five, the end of the old school tie. That's uh, another copy of that one, so two of that one. And Struggle for the Spanish Soul, number 10. This is nice. Uh, H.P. Lovecraft, Panther. Got a little nick at the bottom of the spine there, where it's just coming away a bit, but um, it's a scarce H.P. Lovecraft couple of pounds I think it's probably worth it this is from 1974 that printing quite scarce that this is a phoenix number 110 Erskine Coldwell tragic brown once again don't see these very often this is Gerald's Jackdaw number 18 Ethel Manning crescendo Bit of spine wear, but supremely scarce. These books, they just never turn up. Here's a couple from the Hutchinson Pocket Library now. Number 43. Early morning. I think that's the first edition because it only goes up to number 47 on the back. And another one here, which is G.B. Stern's Pantomime. This is number nine. This will be a later printing, but still fairly early. 
and that's it. So that's all the books up to this point, and that last lot there were two pounds each. Okay, so final segment now, and all of the following books, and there's quite a few of them, these are all just one pound a pop, so pretty cheap. You sort of pay that in a charity shop nowadays for a book, so uh, I think these represent good value for money. Um, and I'm not going to dwell on the condition. All of these have got faults. Some of them, if they're not obvious, it might be inside it. They might have an inscription or a bit of a damaged spine or just something about them which puts them into the one pound um, or less category. If it's something that's obvious, well, obviously I'll, I'll make a note of it. But um, going forward then, these are all a pound a pop. All still first editions unless otherwise noted. Uh, that was... Um, so. Just to make it easier, I can't remember the number on that. So some people, Harold Nicholson. This is number 12. Uh, Leah Walmsley, so many loves. 14, 39 steps. And it's obvious you can see why. These are sl sort of slightly more worn copies, but still absolutely fine as fillers. At uh, number 16, O. Henry. Twenty foolish things. Sadler. Forty-three hostages to fortune. Can't remember the number. Of this one, I think it's uh, forty-one. Suicide club. Sixty-five, young Remy, or sixty-six. One eight, green apple harvest. And there may be something here that you're just looking to fill a hole in, or even you can pick these up at this price just to read. One two nine, crew of the anaconda. One four three. Black Venus. And six two, good English. I said nothing wrong with that, it's just you know not exactly setting the world on fire. Uh one eighty nine, the provincial lady, E. M. Delafield. Two oh one, the late George Apley. Two and seven, the wild sweet witch. Great book if you've never read it. Ashenden or the Secret Agent. Very, very good. Two, two, six. Two, two, seven, Western Heritage of the Desert. Zane Gray. Thirty portrait of Elmbury, John Moore. Two thirty three straight and crooked thinking. Pharaoh's daughter, Georgia Hare. Two thirty two three four. Two eight one, Master of Jalna, as of Delaroche. Two eight five, the All Glories, Glorious Within, Bruce Marshall. Two eight seven, another hair, duplicate death, lower grade, easily worth a pound. Escape or die, Paul Brooke. Two ninety two. Calls for alarm, 305, Eric Ambler. 3.05, Time and time again, James Hilton, 3.31. Daughter of the House. Five six book of trials three 
400 chips in the parlor case of the backward mule faded spine G16 G16 I believed G23 the damn busters it's a reprint copy Voyage of the Cap Pillar, G24. Thy Spirit, G25. White Rabbit, G26. Also a reprint from 1957. Book of Wit and Humor, G27. Set of the sails, G32. Another copy, G32. Very similar. Bob must be my friend. Richard Pappy, G33, GP33. Slide these onto their wedge. Brought quite a lot to get through today, so. You're not going to go far wrong at a pound a pop on some of these, are you? Seven years in Tibet, GP40. GP45, Dangerous Skies. I know we saw a nice one earlier. This is also a first, but just lesser quality. GP47, Cruise of the Conrad. GP58 trial GP62 Tramp Royale GP65 the jury GP79 Venetian Bird, Crime Title, White Oak Harvest, GP87, Beth, GP102, Give Us This Day, G127, this is a reprint and some have been attempted. First pan book of crosswords, and the crime one, G117, Widow's Web, scarce one, lowest grade copy, but um, absolutely fine as a reading copy. First from 1958, great PEF cover that one. G185, Over My Dead Body. Straight and Crooked Thinking, G187. Virtually mint. What, 213, high girders. A train crash. Powder and Patch, Georgia Air, 220. North, nor the moon by night, 243. This very earth, 253. Just one. Singing Sands, Josephine Tay. 
It's about 255, I believe. 263, Love Me Taylor. Love Me Sailor, rather, Robert Close. 263. 265, Young Man on a Dolphin. Two six six naked major. Nun story. Two ninety one. Another copy. This. Yeah, this is a reprint. That one was a first. This is a reprint, but it's in better condition. G301 Gulf Coast Stories 306 Small Woman 306 yeah, also a reprint from 1961 that's why it's in here it just depends 331 Scarecrow Lover 374, girl named Tamika. 381, killer mine, Hammond Dinners. 383, end of a hate. 391, Saturday night, Sunday morning, 391. Check the printing on these. That's a first. Here's another copy, better condition, but a reprint. So there's a first and a reprint of that one. 43, always another door. 43. Cannibalism and human sacrifice, G425. Four thirty, counterfeit traitor. Four sixty six, the endless colonnade. Four eight eight, around the world with Auntie Mame. Drawing a man to a traitor, Eric Williams. Four nine eight. To survive matrony five one two when to call the doctor five two five love and money five three four pan book of etiquette five three nine Fifth Pan Book of Crosswords, 568, also a reprint from 1964, one puzzle attempted in pencil, probably worth a pound. 576, The Crowded Sky, Hellbent Kid, 589, another western, 609, Boney and the Kelly Gang, Arthur Upfeld. 653, maybe you're inferior. 712, up the junction, I believe this is a reprint. Yep, third from 1966. Classic book. Nice copy, just a reprint. T42, JB Priestley, Bright Day. M10, The Small Garden, sort of scarce book these, for the completest of course, M22, Devil Inside, Classic The Collector, M74, John Fowles, Fifth 
first in this number, M100 Fanny by Gaslight. Let's get the next batch of these, the final batch of pound books. Okay, so the last little batch of books all at a pound, M133 Royal Flush. M168 Red for Danger. Some Modesty Blaze. First edition, a little bit of wear on the cover, but still worth a pound. M204. M207, Far From The Man In Crowd. Film Tine. X3, Sorel and Son. Early X title. Another scarce one, and so Victoria. It's X number uh, six, I believe. Big thick book. X22. X27. Sheba's Buried City. X28. The British. X30. John Wayne movie tie. No promised land. That's worth a pound easily. X76, home cookery book. Double shoot, town like Alice. X96. Laminated, X128, Desert Generals. X153, first with this cover, Fall of Singapore. So this is a second printing from 67, but it's the first uh, with that jacket. Mars West, X404, second victory. Little postcard, Poirot Investigates. These came out in the uh, early 90s, I believe. Quite scarce nowadays. An odd edge book, edge number 30, waiting for a train, definitely worth a pound. First print from 1979, that one. A little Fontana, Agatha Christie, Crooked House. First Fontana, 1959, also worth a pound. CP Snow, Penguin, this will be a first as well, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, Penguin 2506, slightly faded spine. A couple of more modern books here. We got Flashman, the first Flashman book. Cracking Reads, the second one as well, Royal Flash. And then Flash for Freedom. All of those really nice copies at a pound a pop. Uh, Post-war, Andre Moraz, Art of Living, Scarce Chariot paperback. Once again, easily worth a pound, that one. Nice Panther crime title, Eldridge Cleaver. Very much in the vein of uh, Chester Himes. Scarce little book, that one. 1971 First Panther, then a couple of Penguin Classics, both reprints, the first classic Homer's Odyssey, just a nice clean copy of that one for a pound, and three plays by Ibsen. So there we are, so that's all the books. So if you do fancy any, as I said, email me a list of anything that you do fancy in the um to julesbert at gmail.com anything that's already sold i'll pin as the very first comment in the comments down below um i'm only going to keep this up for maybe three or four months and then once some books have gone um if the list is getting ridiculous for all the books that have sold i'll just delete this video and um I'll uh, film a brand new one. But if you're still watching this live on YouTube, um, even though it's a few months later, then that means there's still a fair batch of books that you can just order from, uh, from you know, just email me direct and we'll get the orders in and processed. Um, as for payment, um, I'm happy to take it any which way. So check, 
once it's cleared or post orders if people still do that but mainly through paypal is the easiest way um, if you do do paypal do it through friends and family if you want to do it through as a transaction as a business you're going to need to add four uh, percent to cover the paypal fees okay um, now I do have some other paperbacks, not many, but some listed on eBay. And that's where I used to sell my paperbacks, but I just don't have the time to list them all that way. And I thought doing this video would be a lot, lot quicker. So once again, in the description down below will be a direct link to my eBay auctions. And there's a huge batch. Well, there's some nice job lots, shall we say, and some individual um, odd paperbacks that are listed on there. And if you want to have any of those and include them with something that you're seeing from here to save on postage, once again, that's absolutely fine. But what I hope is that people buy a few or more books and I put them all together, get you a nice cheap price um, for everything, including the postage as well. So it's a good way to buy in bulk if that's what you're looking to do. It makes me some space and uh, I clear a few more books out, making room for more books, of course. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you enjoy this what sort of way of seeing a visual catalogue. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks very much. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.